Welcome back. The second game of the Easton Stick era, the second consecutive road game for the Bison, taking on Southern Illinois. Now the Salukis are 3-0 and at home, but the Bison have found new energy with the redshirt freshman at quarterback. We'll get you out to Saluki Stadium, home of the Salukis. We begin in the first quarter, Easton Stick with the Bison down 3 nothing. A three-yard touchdown pass to R.J. Erzendowski. Looked like a run, looking like Tim Tebow out there for Easton Stick. Makes it 7-3 NDSU. SIU takes back the lead, though. Jimmy Jones with this five-yard touchdown run makes it 10-7 Salukis in the second quarter. Still in the second quarter, Chase Morlock from 10 yards out bowls his way into the end zone. That makes it a 14-10 Bison lead. And then check out this. Easton Stick connecting with his former high school teammate, R.J. Erzendowski, over the middle, 77 yards as he tiptoes the sideline into the end zone. That's his second touchdown of the game. SIU would get within two here. Jimmy Jones with his second touchdown of the game. This would make it 21-19 NDSU after the failed two-point conversion. But King Frazier, he had himself a game today for the Bison. 50 yards on this touchdown run. Frazier finished with 177 yards and this score would make it 28-19 Bison. And the Bison had Southern Illinois their first loss at home, 35-29. The final, another 100-yard rushing game from Easton Stick. But it is, again, King Frazier collecting 177 yards on just 16 carries in the touchdown you saw. Head coach Chris Kleiman following the game. Uh, I thought we did a nice job on defense. Offensively, we, we told the guys, we're going to commit to running the football. I mean, I don't care if it's a running back. I don't care if it's Easton Stick. We're going to commit to running the football, and that's how we're going to have to grind out wins. A happy coach there. Join us tonight at 10 for a full recap on the game. We'll hear from Bison players as well.